How did you get in? The stairs from the street. I told you this morning you'd come around, but this is a little ahead of schedule. Well, won't you sit down? Richard, I had to see well, you. There's Richard again. We're back in Paris. Please. Your unexpected visit isn't connected by any chance with the letters of transit. Seems as long as I have those letters, I'll never be lonely. You can ask any price you want, but you must give me those letters. I went all through that with your husband. It's no deal. Well, I know how you feel about me, but I'm asking you to put your feelings aside for something more important. Do I have to hear again what a great man your husband is, what an important cause he's fighting for? It was your cause, too. In your own way, you were fighting for the same thing. I'm not fighting for anything anymore, except myself. I'm the only cause I'm interested in. Richard, we loved each other once. If those days meant anything at all to me... I wouldn't bring up Paris if I were you. It's poor salesmanship. Please, please listen to me. If you knew what really happened, if you only knew the truth... I wouldn't believe you no matter what you told me. You'd say anything now to get what you want. You want to feel sorry for yourself, don't you? There's so much at stake, all you can think of is your own feeling. One woman has hurt you and you take your revenge on the rest of the world. You're a, you're a coward and weakling. No. No, Richard, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but, but you, you are our last hope. If you don't help us, Victor Laszlo will die in Casablanca. What of it? I'm gonna die in Casablanca. It's a good spot for it. Now, if you... All right. I tried to reason with you. I tried everything. Now I want those letters. Get them for me. I don't have to. I got them right here. Put them on the table. Now. For the last time, put them on the table. If Laszlo and the cause mean so much to you, you won't stop at anything. All right, I'll make it easier for you. Go ahead and shoot. You'll be doing me a favor. Richard, I tried to stay away. I thought I would never see you again. That you are out of my life. You left Paris. If you knew what I went through, if you knew how much I loved you, how much I still love you. And then? It wasn't long after we were married that Victor went back to Czechoslovakia. They needed him in Prague, but the Gestapo were waiting for him. Just a two-line item in the paper, Victor Laszlo apprehended, sent to concentration camp. I was frantic. For months I tried to get word. Then it came. He was dead, shot, trying to escape. I was lonely. I had nothing, not even hope. Then I met you. Why weren't you honest with me? Why did you keep your marriage a secret? Well, it wasn't my secret, Richard. Victor wanted it that way. Not even our closest friends knew about our marriage. That was his way of protecting me. I knew so much about his work, and if the Gestapo found out I was his wife, it would be dangerous for me and, and for those working with us. And when did you first find out he was alive? Just before you and I were to leave Paris together, a friend came and told me that Victor was alive. They were hiding him in a freight car in the outskirts of Paris. He was sick. He needed me. I wanted to tell you, but I, I didn't dare. I knew, I knew you wouldn't have left Paris and the Gestapo would have caught you, so I... Well... Well, you know the rest. <laughs> well, it's still a story without an ending. What about now? Now? I don't know. 
I know that I'll never have the strength to leave you again. And Laszlo? Oh, you'll help him now, Richard, won't you? You'll see that he gets out, and then he'll have his work, all that he's been living for. All except one. He won't have you. I can't fight it anymore. I ran away from you once. I can't do it again. Oh, I don't know what's right any longer. You have to think for both of us. For all of us. All right. I will. Here's looking at you, kid. I wish I didn't love you so much. 